Hola, and welcome or welcome back to Kim at Home. As always, we're jumping right into today's video while I'm cleaning this fan. Let me tell you something, this fan, I don't even know when the last time I cleaned it, it doesn't even matter. What matters is it's getting clean now. <laughs> Let me know below in the comments how often you clean off your ceiling fans. The other thing that I wanna point out is, I saw a show on YouTube, I think it was called Homeworthy, and it was talking about people who have ceiling fans typically live in Ohio. Let me know what state you're in if you're outside of Ohio and you have a ceiling fan, cause now I'm just kinda curious. Now we're taking these curtains down, finally. I cannot stand these curtains. I can't even believe that I've lived with them this long. But let me just tell you a little secret about me. Well, first of all, if you've never been here before, my name is Kim, K-Y-M, and I do videos pertaining to home life. So home management, cooking, cleaning, doing repairs, DIYs, projects, all of that great stuff. Be sure to subscribe if that's your jam. Look at the dust, that's terrible. So back to the Homeworthy show. I was watching it and I saw that these people had some leather straps as their curtain rods. So I'm gonna try it out and see how it works. Now, before I actually hang up these curtains, I wanna make sure I clean everything around where the curtains were. Everything's pretty dusty. We, the way that our bedroom is set up, it's actually above the garage. So we do have central air in our home, but we also have an air unit that we put in. It stands on the ground and then there's like a tube that goes out the window. So this window was exceptionally, expeditiously, all the ease you could think of, dirty. That's not the word that I was looking for, but we're just gonna go with that. Oh, what's in it for me? If you've been here for a while, you may have seen a few videos ago, like maybe two months ago, I decluttered, okay, for my mental health because clutter drives me insane. It gives me the worst anxiety, which is why I really try to limit that around my home. At any rate, now I forgot what I was saying. Okay, I had to go back and listen to what I was talking about. I was talking about decluttering initially. So while I was decluttering, I accidentally threw a charger away. Kim is the queen of throwing things away, okay? So I threw away a charger and the charger was for my window cleaner. So it died right in the middle of me trying to clean the windows off and the mirrors and everything. So I was just kind of using the squeegee without the suction which worked pretty good, but I'm gonna have to now probably go on Amazon to try to find an actual charger for this because this window cleaner is a lifesaver. I use it all the time. And it's always linked below in the description box.
Let me know below in the comments if you dust off your faux plants. Everything that I'm cleaning off right now is being cleaned off with Kim's Magic Concoction. So for that mixture, it is the white distilled vinegar, the Dawn Original Blue Dish Soap, as well as some isoplur alcohol and water. Liquid gold in a bottle, preferably a Method bottle because they have the best spray bottle. Shout out to Method. My family and I recently went to my cousin's wedding and I wanna show you her terrible wedding towel. This is amazing. It's not terrible, it's a wedding towel. You get it, the terrible towel. The Pittsburgh Steelers, if you don't know about the Steelers, like I don't even know what to say. <laughs> but on the subject of family, I don't even wanna use the word cousin. I don't wanna use that word loosely. My family is so close, both sides. And our cousins are our siblings. Like they are amazing to us. We love them so much. They are everything. When we get together, it's always a good time. It's always good laughter. It's always good vibes. It's always good energy. It's always much, much, much more laughter than what I said before. I mean, it really, 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 really feels good, you guys, for real. And then a few weeks after that, my uncle passed away. And my uncle was an intricate part of my life. When I tell you, this man taught me how to fish. He taught me how to bait my own hook. He taught me how to do so many different things. He taught me how to, he was an artist, right? Kim tries, okay? But he's the one who taught me not to be afraid. And I know you guys have seen some of my paintings like, girl, what are you doing? Listen, I'm vibing, okay? I'm doing me because I'm not afraid to get out here and do it because this is what I do. Even when the camera's off, he's the one who taught me all of that. Also, the way that it happened was just very near and dear to me, D near and dear to the situation that I went through. I don't want to make this about me, but I was in my feelings. But I want to say this. <laughs> if I don't say anything else, please, please, please make sure that you're tracking your memories. Don't just keep it in your head. Write it out because the older we get, the more we forget. Listen, I could be a rapper. OK, I love me some Tupac, but for real, though, like make journals of everything that you go on make journals of all of your good memories because the bad ones unfortunately are just going to linger we're going to constantly be triggered by those things but that's why we have to change our mindset and we have to renew our mind on a minute by minute type situation every time there's a negative thought that comes through we have to try our best to think about something positive to think about the things that we love in life to think about our family because they're everything right and I know a lot of people say, just journal your emotions and just journal in general. Yes, that's amazing. But let me tell you something. If you go to a wedding journal, talk about how fun it was. Talk about who danced. Talk, to, talk about what people wore. All good things, right? If you go on a trip with your family, talk about what happened on the first night, how anxious you were, you know, whether or not you check for bed bugs, like <laughs> journal everything, because there's going to be one day that you're going to try to remember something. It's going to be so foggy and it's going to drive you crazy in that journaling. When you go back to read it, you're going to be so thankful for all of those experiences. You're going to be so thankful that you actually took the time to write everything out. You're going to be so thankful that your memories are not going to be blocked. When that gratitude sets in, when that gratitude hits, it invites so many other positive emotions. It's definitely a domino effect. Good luck on that journey if you decide to partake in it. Oh my gosh, please let me know the outcome. This is going to be something that's amazing and something that's going to be so great to talk about and just vibe. I love connecting with people. So yeah, this is going to be great. Let me know how it goes.
actually get a steamer to make them look better because once we steam them they will look great and I know this is bad lighting but for now this is what we are working with so that'll be in a later video though um that iron needed a healing a miracle and several prayers okay because it got warm it didn't get hot not that it was supposed to go on hot the temperature was a colder warm yes so i'm gonna have to get a new iron <laughs> and a steamer i was overlooking at this fan it was so gross it needed to be cleaned out it needed to be cleaned out a long time ago but i'm glad i'm handling it now this is what it's looking like okay so we're breathing all of this in and we wonder why we sneeze in and it's just putting dust everywhere so it's like i'm constantly having to wipe the walls down dust the walls and everything else in the room let me know how often you dust i definitely don't dust enough that's for sure <laughs> I did attempt to take the back part of the fan off, but as I was unscrewing it, I realized at the bottom of it, there's clips that actually hook inside the fan so that everything will stick properly. And it was kind of looking like it was about to break. So I just left it alone and just tried to clean it the best as I possibly could with this paper towel. Oh, I'm out of breath. Sorry, I was working out. <laughs> Listen, your girl got a multitask. It's busy, okay? Life is busy. Now the front cover of the fan, I'm gonna end up taking outside and hosing it down. I'm gonna spray it first with some super clean and then just get it hosed down really good. My daughter's gonna assist me in that. But just, I wanna thank you so much for being here. I don't think you realize how much I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you so much. Stuff, trying to show off very clean very very clean no longer breathing in dust what more can you ask for <laughs> 